Hi everyone, welcome to the Ever Seeking Empath. I'm a reader who uses tarot, oracle, and charms, and today's reading is our February predictions reading. So since it's February, I wanted it to kind of be themed around uh, like candy and sweet stuff um, with Valentine's Day coming up. So today's reading is what sweet surprises are in store for you this February. So before we get started, I just want to remind everyone that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. So just take what messages resonate for you and disregard the rest. Also, if you enjoy this, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you can see when I've posted new content and that really does help the channel. And thank you so much to those of you who have already subscribed. I truly appreciate it. So we have three piles here today and I chose these macarons to kind of go with our sweet treats theme. So pile one is the Earl Grey macaron. Pile two is the orange truffle. And pile three is the pistachio macaron. So just take a deep breath, let your intuition guide you to a pile. I'm gonna put timestamps in the description and in the comments below. And we're gonna get started now with pile number one. Hi, group one. So if you chose the Earl Grey macaron, then this is your message. We're gonna start with your tarot and oracle and then do your charms at the end. So let's figure out what sweet surprises are coming your way this February? So for your tarot, you have the Hermit, the Lovers, and the Two of Cups, wow. So I feel like uh, group one, you might have kind of a romantic February. I feel like you might be connecting with somebody or you might be kind of getting yourself ready to connect with someone. Maybe you're either reconnecting with a partner or leaving like a situation behind and moving into a period where you're ready for a better partnership or you're trying to leave singlehood behind and get get yourself ready for a partner but I just feel like overall this is mostly romantic it could also have to do with friends or business partners but overall I'm kind of feeling like this is a romantic skew but the hermit says that there's probably some need to retreat a little bit you might want to just take some time alone to really think about what you want what you need what really drives you forward um, and just what feels right with your soul because I do think you have like a soulmate connection coming in in February so either if this is someone you know your connection is going to be deepening um, and if this is someone you haven't met yet I feel like you're going to just click with somebody it's going to be that just soul deep connection where you feel like you've known each other before even if you haven't it's just going to be easy and like you just have that rhythm that just goes right from the beginning you just feel that connection right right away so that's a really awesome way to start, especially for like Valentine's Day coming up. So group one, I want to see what your oracle cards have to say. So you have a grand symphony, number 27. Um, so that's making me think just everything in your life is just kind of falling into place, like to really work together to create something beautiful. Because with this grand symphony, I feel like it's all the different instruments work together to create beautiful music. And I that sounds really cheesy, but like you're going to create beautiful music with this person. So music could be a theme in your relationship. That could be something that connects you. But otherwise, I think it's just talking about just all the pieces and parts in your life are falling into place so that you can meet this person or get together with them or really deepen your connection. And I think that's why there's this need for the hermit energy at first is so that you really figure out what it is that you want and need so that everything can fall into place for you. You also have healing the heart, number 23. So yeah, I feel like many of you probably have gone through either a breakup or if you're with somebody, maybe a fight with this person, you might feel like you haven't had much romantic luck in a really long time. And so that's why that hermit is really going to be necessary for you to just work through your healing process on your own, just giving yourself love. I think self-love is going to be a big theme for you. Um, and I think just that loving yourself is going to open up to a new relationship. So like being able to love yourself is going to allow someone who loves you that same way to come into your life um, or kind of have that spark renewed with somebody. You have crystal magic, number 21, creation, dawn, the beginning. So yeah, you've got a big new beginning coming this month. Um, I feel like this is like the dawn of a new era for you, a dawn of a new relationship or a new um, like era in your relationship, a new phase. I think you might be 
entering a deeper level of commitment with somebody or maybe you're just starting off single and you're just like, you know, I'm not going to accept anything less than my ideal relationship. You know, I don't want to settle for anything. Um, and that's really good, but that's why I think it's really necessary for you to go within and figure out what you are and are not willing to accept in a relationship and in your life. You have Phoenix. How's that for a happily ever after? Number nine. So you have a lot of nines here too. So that does signify kind of the end of one era and you're starting to like finish up and tie up some, you know, loose ends and things like that. So I feel like, yeah, for many of you, this is that you're burning up what does not serve you anymore. You are leaving a relationship behind or an old mentality behind, an old mindset behind, and you're moving into a better period of time so that you really can open up to what is meant for you in your life. You have dreams, so you might be feeling extra intuitive right now. You might be getting some insights in your dreams at night. You might be dreaming of this person that you want to meet, and you just maybe that's what sparks this feeling of a pull towards somebody for you is that you're dreaming about someone and you don't know who they are and you just feel like in what you've had in the past, you haven't had that kind of connection. And this is a connection with someone you've never met. So how can this be so much more powerful than with people that you've been with in the past? And I feel like for a lot of you, that's kind of you connecting with a piece of yourself that you really need to get in touch with. You know, it's part of that heart healing that you're recognizing parts of yourself that you've been ignoring or neglecting for a long time. And you're allowing yourself to really kind of work through that, you know, work through any kind of repressed parts of your psyche while you sleep. Um, I think you are probably maybe trying to meditate. That might be something you want to do. Uh, maybe start a dream journal. But I feel like a lot of this, it's just there are so many pieces, I feel like, falling into place for you to meet this person. And I think you might have been like seeing some signs and synchronicities that are just kind of guiding you that you you kind of were feeling pulled to do whatever this is to move towards someone new or to move into a better phase of your relationship and you, you keep having that kind of reinforced and supported by other things you're seeing and feeling and I think you're you're starting to gain in confidence that this maybe is possible it's not you know a pipe dream you have field of dreams number 21 so that cracks me up because you just had dreams and now you have field of dreams so yeah I think this is also saying to dream big because you don't want to just hold back and think small and then not be pleased with the result. You can dream big and imagine whatever you want to come into your life, but you do have to kind of get yourself into that mindset as if you were there already, as if you were happy with whoever this is or happy in the state that your life is in. I just feel like you are starting to align yourself with whatever you want to bring in, and I think this is going to have a very powerful attraction. So if some of you are not looking for any kind of relationship and are not in a relationship that you're wanting to deepen, this could just mean that you are attracting into your life what is meant for you, like magnetically, like those um, experiences and opportunities that you really want to come into your life, those are being attracted right now because you're starting to align yourself to that mindset of what you want to achieve. Your self-care card for the month is chanting, number eight. So I feel like that's kind of making me think of this grand symphony card too because you know it's very musical and chanting is very sound oriented so I feel like you might just have to kind of open up your throat chakra and let some sound loose even like humming I feel like might help but just to kind of um, get things moving and I feel like some of you might struggle with voicing your needs um, so you might have been holding back for a long time uh, to people please you might be a people pleaser or you might have just felt like what you want was not possible to achieve so you've held back just thinking it was pointless but I think um, humming or chanting might kind of help open up that um, energy for you your ice cream oracle card is green tea work ethic diligence meticulousness so yeah I feel like you are working hard on yourself I think that's really what you are doing right now what you have been doing um, or what you're being encouraged to do so that you can attract whatever the situation or person is into your life. Um, I think being diligent really is bringing some results in. And I think that's with that dream card, what that was kind of giving me is that you've been aligning yourself so well with what you want that you are getting just constant reinforcement. And it's probably speeding up that you're noticing more and more things that are just really lining up for you that maybe some opportunities are coming up or you know, you've had the opportunity to meet new people or something and you just felt like 
you know, a year ago, this would not have been happening. And now it just feels like I've been working on myself. I've been kind of detaching from the outcome. And now all this stuff is just falling in my lap and it's really getting started. And I feel like my life is going somewhere. And then finally, you have chrysanthemum. Be here always with willing hands and heart. So that's really cool because I feel like I'm, I keep looking at this healing the heart card. So I do feel like for many of you, that's going to be key to moving into what you want to achieve. Like you have to do that heart healing first and then, you know, rise from the ashes like this Phoenix card and be willing to align your emotions and your heart with what you want, but then do the work to get there as well. Like you can't just align yourself and then sit back and wait for it to fall in your lap and come to you. You still have to put in some effort to show the universe that, yes, you want this. You're willing to work for it. So I think you really are going to be in a place this month of aligning your intentions with your actions. And I think that's going to bring really positive results to you. So group one, I'm going to get your charms now. So we are going to use the heart for some more information just to figure out what's in the heart of the matter. So group one, what sweet surprises are coming your way this February? Whoa. Okay, one just went flying out of there. So um, nothing landed in your heart. So I do feel like many of you, this this might just be different situations for all of you. So um, the one that flew out of the tray is this whirlpool, which often to me has to do with thought spirals and whirling emotions that you just feel like you get caught up in it and it just continues and you can't get out of it. So I do think that's why this heart healing is so important is because you keep getting caught up in the negative cycles and I think you're finally able now to really start breaking free from that and you're noticing that it really is worthwhile because it's working out for you. Okay, so let's get kind of a, an overview of what all's here. You do have some good luck coming your way. You've got the clover, so um, that's signifying that good luck is coming your way. I think things are aligning for you. With the gin bottle, you might have to release some kind of toxic habits or behaviors that are holding you back. You know, everybody has their vices, but that might be something that's kind of slowing down your progress. Um, you do have the scarab beetle, so that has to do with magic and just turning negative things and like waste into the positive and into success. Um, you have the ballerina, so that has to do with kind of being worried about stepping a toe out of line, like feeling like you need to be perfect and you keep working at it until you're perfect. So I do think this has to do with that diligence and persistence that you're moving forward forward with. Um, I think you are being very persistent, but you might want to kind of ease up on yourself if you're worried about perfection or really trying too hard to get things done that can sometimes kind of strangle the energy, if that makes sense. It's just, you know, pushing too hard sometimes means like you don't trust the universe to bring it to you, that you just have to keep pushing. And sometimes it, it pays off to just kind of relax and take a step back once in a while. You have W. So um, that could have some significant meaning for some of you with initials of people or places or just, you know, a word comes to mind. But I'm also getting just, I said word and uh, the word words is coming to mind. So I think use your words, you know, get your intention out there, talk about it um, out to the universe. And I think that's going to help with your manifesting. And then also water. So I feel like many of you are probably extremely dehydrated and need to be drinking water. So just remind yourself of that, especially if you're drinking alcohol a lot, that can dehydrate you and that might be kind of making you not feel great and that's slowing down your progress as well. So just keep that in mind. You have the circus tent. So I feel like a lot of like fun surprises are coming your way. That circus tent has to do with just things being completely unexpected. It's a lot of fun. It's, yeah, it's shocking. It's surprising, but I think it's going to, it might be feel like feeling a little overwhelming for you um, that you're not expecting things to happen the way that they do or as quickly as they do, but just kind of ride it out and enjoy the journey. You know, I think that's, you know, you've got so much good coming your way. You have cancer energy here, so you might be a cancer or the person coming in might be a cancer, and you also have Aries, and the Aries charm says courageous on the back. So I think you're starting to become brave enough and move forward bravely to invite in what you want to come into your life. You know, you're not living in fear where you're just staying settled because you feel like you can't do better. So that's um, really great energy to be moving into. You have XOXO. So I do think that somebody probably has their eye on you or will be maybe 
writing you like a love letter or just a text or a DM because that's more common lately. But with Valentine's Day coming up, some of you might be receiving a love letter or a card. Um, but I just think in general, this is going to be very love focused. And I think it's going to be love of yourself first and foremost and love with another person as well. You have the number two. So that's obviously the number of February. Um, that also might just be a significant date or number for you in some way. And I think the power of two as well, you know, two people coming together and the number two in tarot is the high priestess and that's listening to your intuition. So again, I think you are getting a lot of guidance and you just have to listen to it, you know, trust that that is leading you in the right direction and just make sure that you're not doubting it and like, you know, overthinking it to the point that you screw things up or like self-sabotage, I guess is kind of the word I'm looking for, but um, yeah. So don't get caught up too much in when things are going to change. Cause I feel like many of you might be asking like, when is this going to happen? When am I going to meet somebody? You know, everyone tells me I'm going to meet someone and it never happens. The more you focus on when something's going to happen, it's going to kind of push that back because again, you're not doing, you know, focusing your energy on yourself and on your own self care. You're worrying about when something out of your control is going to happen. So just trust that it will happen when the time is right. But I think there might be some things that you need to do and work out first before that comes in. But I think many of you are aligned already where it's going to come in any minute and it's going to be a surprise. You have always. So I feel like this is somebody coming in who is very dependable, who will always be there for you. Um, someone reliable. I feel like many of you have been dealing with very flighty people. Um, who just kind of come in and out. They might ghost you and then come back. They might be just the type to kind of hit you up in the middle of the night when they're bored or lonely or, you know, you might be the rebound for them all the time who, um, like, if they're, you know, just breaking up with somebody, they always come to you. You know, you're like their go-to rebound. Um, but I feel like you're ready to kind of knock it out of the park. You're like sending that energy out into the universe of what you want um, that you want to be treated right, you want to be treated like a princess or a prince or whatever, but you want to be treated like royalty. You want somebody to really see and know your value and to treat you accordingly. You have the mermaid here, so I do think some deep diving is necessary and has been necessary for you to really heal yourself. And you have the starfish, which is my symbol for healing. So, um, yeah, I think you're definitely, that healing is going to be key in bringing somebody new into your life. I think that's really what's necessary. Many of you have already done the healing work and are currently working on it. And some of you might be kind of resisting starting because you're so worried about what else is coming in. But I do think that February is going to be a significant month for you regarding relationships and your relationship to other people and to yourself and just love in general. So that's really appropriate for the month that contains Valentine's Day. So Group one, I hope that this resonates. I would love to hear if it does, so please leave me a comment below. If you enjoyed this, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope you have an awesome February and an awesome rest of your day, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hi, group two. So if you chose the orange truffle macaron, then this is your message. So we're going to start with your tarot and oracle and then do your charms at the end. So... Let's figure out what sweet surprises are coming to you this February. For your tarot, you have the Nine of Cups. It's a great way to start. The Empress. King of Cups. And the Chariot. So I feel like you're probably trying to get to a place this month of emotional satisfaction and fulfillment. I feel like many of you have maybe been like making some wishes as well um because the nine of cups is often like the wish card um just trying to get to a place where you're feeling emotionally satisfied and fulfilled and content um but i feel like you've got some new um like growth in your life new situations that are growing and getting better uh because with the empress that has to do with abundance and growth and fertility creativity you know just new things being birthed into your life um, so I do feel like I, it just seems like all of these piles are kind of having a, like an emotional connection this month somehow, you know, many of us are working on kind of our own emotions, emotions as we connect with others as well, because you do have the King of Cups too. Um, so I feel like many of you are feeling 
like emotionally open, you're, you kind of know what you want, you're ready for that, you're connecting your logic and your emotional side, you're feeling pretty balanced, but you might not be kind of voicing to people what you want, what you're expecting, what you're hoping for, you're just kind of keeping it to yourself. And with the chariot, many of you might be trying to figure out which way to get to what you want. I feel like you might be kind of knowing what you want to achieve emotionally, but maybe you're not sure what situation will bring that emotional fulfillment to you. So you're kind of feeling stuck between two options or just feeling like you're not exactly sure which way to go, but you know that once you pick a route, your determination will get you the whole way there. But I want to see what your oracle cards have to say as well. So you have the land between, number 40. So that's very much what I was feeling with this chariot card here as well, that you are kind of in between worlds, you're, you know, you've been moving forward, you're in a good place, but now it's like, okay, which route do I want to take? Am I, you know, almost there? Am I nearly there? Like, am I moving in the right direction even? I'm not really sure. You know, there's some uncertainty here um, because you might have had to take some detours, there might have been obstacles popping up, but you've been overcoming them. But I think you just have to recognize that this is, this time period is for a reason. I think it's a good um, time to reconnect with your emotions, reconnect with your sense of purpose and why you are trying to move towards whatever this goal is that you have, whether that's a romantic relationship or a career that you want to have or something like that. But I just think, yeah, just reconnect with your purpose and I think that's going to lead you in the right direction. You have keeper of secrets. Use your discernment. Confide, confide in a trusted friend. Keep silent about knowledge. Number 37. So yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking with this King of Cups, that you maybe are not really wanting to open up to people. Or maybe if you're dealing with um, like a partner or something, they're not really opening up to you, even if they're feeling very connected with you, very um, like protective of you. Just They're feeling very emotionally deep towards you, but they're not showing it. So yeah, definitely somebody's keeping some secrets, but I don't feel like it's out of any kind of manipulative reason. It's just keeping it to yourself for now, um, making sure you can trust the person first before you really open up to them about your hopes and dreams for the future. You have universe, we're all just stardust, number 31. This always makes me think of just feeling connected to the world around you, and I think that's, I mean, there's all these emotional cards and the Empress I feel like feels very connected to other people and to the earth and the King of Cups as well I think feels very connected but just he's like more of an introvert you know he doesn't necessarily go out of his way to go out and connect with people or to bring in many people into his circle he's content with a handful of people around him so but I feel like you are feeling more connected to the universe right now more connected to the people around you and I think that's helping you kind of find a, a sense of peace and emotional contentment. And then you have mirror, treat your body like the palace it is, number four. So I think many of you might be working on your body. Um, you might be trying to work on body acceptance as well and just maybe marveling at what your body can do. Um, some of you might be trying to get pregnant and you're marveling that that's something that can happen. Um, I think many of you also are just trying to increase your confidence and you're just trying to be content with where your body is now but treat it well for the future. So maybe you're trying a new exercise routine or you're trying to eat right or you're trying like a new skincare or beauty routine, something like that. But I feel like you're just really trying to treat yourself with love. You have healing. So many of you might be trying to heal some past wounds in this case. Like maybe that's part of the reason for these secrets that are being kept, um, that you're just not sure who you can trust. You're healing from past betrayals um, and maybe healing your relationship with your body. I feel like there's definitely some body acceptance going on for many of you and just healing your relationship with the self as well. And then you have animals. So this might not apply to everybody. I'm just getting the feeling that this is going to just be for some people. Um, but I think connecting with animals is really going to help you with this acceptance. I think, um, with this sense of unconditional love that animals show us, I think it can help us to really show that same unconditional love towards ourselves and towards others. So that might be something that you want to work with is work with animals, just feel connected to the earth. Um, the Empress is very earth oriented. So I feel like she's always the one that you'd see around animals. So that might be something that helps you to kind of reconnect with your sense of purpose, reconnect with your love of yourself and that kind of thing. You have rock bottom number 10. So many of you, I feel like 
I feel like this is something that most of you have overcome already is this rock bottom that maybe you got to a point where you were just miserable in your life and you didn't know who to trust that you were betrayed like this past year I feel like has put a lot of people at rock bottom so um, you might just be starting to kind of move forward again you know that chariot might be like now you're at kind of a, a standstill that you're not really sure what route to take but you have moved on from whatever this rock bottom is but I think that you do have further healing to do and you are really working on it but I think healing your relationship with your body and yourself is going to be significant in whatever your goals are that you're trying to achieve your self-care card for this month is make a meal number 32 so that ties in a lot with what I was thinking with the body acceptance is just fuel flu, yeah. oh my goodness I cannot talk today <laughs> fueling your body filling it with good nutritious food um, maybe kind of making a meditation out of cooking just taking your time to really appreciate um, you know the process of cooking you know all the chopping and, and washing up and mixing and just making that ritual into something more than just making food you know that you're using that and like infusing it with the intention to fuel your body and to make you feel good and look beautiful and that kind of thing. I feel like you're just really trying to treat your body well. And yeah, your ice cream oracle card is avocado, self-care, beauty, and healing. So we've got a lot of healing energy here, a lot of self-care, just really taking care of yourself. And I feel like you are increasing your self-confidence, feeling much more beautiful. And I think a lot of the time just caring for ourselves more can help us feel more beautiful. It's just something about when you take the time to really take care of yourself and spending time on yourself kind of like almost tricks your brain into feeling like hey you know what maybe I am worth this because why would I spend so much time on myself if I wasn't beautiful if I wasn't worthwhile you know if I wasn't important so I feel like that might be something that many of you want to kind of involve in your life is just a lot more like beauty routines and, and just self-care like make that a priority um, and I feel like many of you might need avocado in your diet because we've got this avocado on this card here and then your ice cream flavor is avocado so um, that might be something maybe you're lacking some of the healthy fats or something and that might make you feel a bit better so just that's gonna maybe resonate with a few people and then finally you have forget me not always remain true to your intentions so yeah I feel like many of you might have felt like you've gotten off track like especially over the past year just everybody I think has gotten thrown off of their initial goals and now you finally feel like you're able to move forward a little bit more easily and you feel like you can move forward into a time period where you can actually go towards your goals you know you can actually get some movement going and you can see the progress you're making instead of feeling just stagnant and like you know like you, like you keep getting sidetracked and I think this is also saying to just take it easy on yourself you know don't hold yourself responsible for things that were out of your control so if you didn't like achieve as much this past year as you had hoped to don't beat yourself up over that you know practice compassion and self-love and just make sure that that's a priority so group two we're going to get your charms now and i am using the heart to figure out what's in the heart of the situation so group two what sweet surprises are coming your way this february So the letter H landed in the heart. Um, so, I mean, the word heart is coming to mind as well. So maybe many of you are healing your heart, but I just, the word that's really popping up for me and partly because of the cards you got is the word health. So I think that you are really trying to take care of your health right now. And that's something that I think you're really going to be moving towards. Um, it's going to be something that I think is going to help you feel better and make you feel more confident so that whatever other goals you have, in your life right now you're going to feel more capable of moving towards that just because you feel healthier and more vibrant and more alive and I think that's really going to give you a boost your other initials here you have the letter F and you have the letter C um, I'm also feeling like cafe is the word coming to mind so I'm not sure if some of you like work in a cafe or you're really into coffee and that's like part of your beauty routine is like coffee scrubs and things like that but that might be something that you want to look into and maybe some of you are probably conscious of how much caffeine you're drinking so that might be something to kind of be aware of is if you're drinking too much caffeine and kind of notice how you feel after that you have beauty here so yeah that's really emphasizing that message of beauty and self-care and just really taking care of your body 
um, improving your relationship with yourself, with your body, that kind of thing. Um, live your dream is here. And also we've got the running horse who looks like he's just charging ahead. So I just feel like that's what you're really trying to do right now is you want to live your dream, whatever that is. And I think improving your beauty routine and your health and your self care routine, it's just really making you feel, it's making you feel more capable of what you want to achieve. And it's making you feel motivated to move forward. And just, I think that confidence boost is really going to make a big difference in what you're able to achieve. And I think you're going to be surprised by this time next year as to what you've done just because of what you changed, you know, whatever that was, if it was your diet or exercise routine or whatever, I think that's going to give you a boost. You have time. So I think this is also saying give yourself time, but also I feel like for many of you, you're like, it's time already. I need to just take care of this. I need to take care of myself. Things need to improve. So I just need to get this done and, you know, just really start on it because it's not going to, you know, take care of itself. I'm not going to be able to blink and tomorrow I'll be perfectly healthy. You know, I really need to take the steps to get myself there. You've got the interlocking hearts here. So some of you might have like a soulmate that you're connecting with. Um, that might be something that is kind of boosting you to work on your beauty routine. Maybe you want to like get feeling a little um, like more attractive for a partner. But also I feel like many of you have partners who are like, I'm worried about you. I really want you to feel good. You know, that they see your beauty and they want you to see the same thing. So they're really encouraging you to take time for yourself. And that's seeing that time. Take time for yourself. You know, make sure that you're focusing on yourself this month. You know, make sure that that is a priority for you. You have freedom here on the little handcuff. So I feel like you're freeing yourself from whatever's been holding you down. So I feel like most of you, that, that was insecurity, you know, whether it's of what you look like, how you act, um, your place in life, your position, your status, your success level at the age you are, you know, so many things can kind of go into that. But I feel like for many of you, you just need to free yourself from those shackles and just move forward with gusto, you know, and I think just whatever you can do to boost your confidence to do that is going to help. And I think you're just going to feel a lot freer this month. I think many of you are just at the, at your breaking point where you're like, you know what, enough is enough. I have to make a change. You have the teddy bear. So I feel like many of you might be um, comfort eaters because the teddy bear for me has to do with comfort, um, like that sense of kind of childlike, you know, comfort, you know, it's like your comfort um, item, you know, blankets, teddy bears, things like that. And I feel like a lot of people as they get older turn to food or turn to unhealthy behaviors like, you know, addictions. Just, I feel like that's really what's coming through is not necessarily true addictions, but just um, you turn to things that make you feel better, even though you know in the moment you shouldn't and it's not healthy for you, but it's not something that you can't stop. It's just when you feel bad, you eat. When you feel bad, you drink. When you feel bad, you text your ex, you know, like stuff like that. I just feel like many of you are doing that and that's something that you're trying to free yourself from is find other things to comfort yourself. Like just that self-care again just keeps coming up. And with this mouse, that's making me think, treat yourself gently. I feel like many of you really are struggling with fear and insecurity and just, you know, don't make yourself smaller because you're afraid of what people will think of you. You know, it's nobody's, it's not your business what anyone else thinks of you and you're never going to be liked by everybody. So just release yourself from that prison of feeling like you have to be liked by other people for approval you know that that's the only thing that will give you worth figure out how to give yourself worth first because that's really going to get you through a lot more than trying to get other people's approval you have the thimble here so that makes me think that you are protecting yourself when you don't necessarily need to um that I feel like you're really just living out of fear in a lot of ways and you're just I think ready to get back in the saddle I'm looking at the saddle now and it's just that's really standing out to me. Like you, I think, are ready to kind of take down your walls again and get back in there and really just start trying again. You have the fox. So I feel like you're trying to come up with a, a strategy or, you know, you're, you're cunning and you're really trying to work on how you can go about this. And I feel like many of you might not be wanting to share this with people again. Like that's, you know, that secretive energy again. You're wanting to kind of do it as a surprise. Like, you know, keep people blind to what you're actually working on so that when you achieve whatever your goal is, people are going to be like, whoa, I can't believe you did that, you know, that you can surprise them in a pleasant way. Because um, I think many of you want to kind of prove yourselves to a lot of people. And then you have the Taj Mahal, which, I mean, it could have to do with India, but overall this um, is my symbol for, like, undying love, like a huge 
gesture of love. So I feel like many of you might be trying to really show yourself love. Like maybe, I feel like many of you might have been expecting to get proposed to like over the holidays or you're expecting to get proposed to around Valentine's Day and those plans are falling through. So you're really trying to work on loving yourself so that you can make yourself feel like you were hoping someone else would. But for others of you, this might be a proposal coming up that maybe some of you are getting a grand gesture of love. And if it's not a proposal, it could just be somebody telling you how they feel or really doing something huge for like Valentine's Day for you, like trying to, you know, fill a room with flowers and make you a homemade dinner and like that kind of thing. But I feel like overall, this is just, this is very love oriented, but I think the main point is just love yourself, you know, take care of yourself. Um, focus on your own self-care and your own habits and just make sure that you are focusing on that because you're the only you're the person who can love you the best you know so just make sure that your relationship with yourself is healthy and I think it is improving this month so group two I hope that this resonates I would love to hear if it does so please leave me a comment below if you enjoyed this please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I hope you have a wonderful February and an awesome rest of your day and I hope to see you next time Thanks for watching. Hi, group three. So if you chose the pistachio macaron, then this is your message. So we're gonna start with your tarot and oracle and then do your charms at the end. So let's figure out what sweet surprises are coming your way this February. For your tarot, you have the Knight of Cups, King of Wands, and the Hanged Man. Man, every group has had like a really pretty consistent message. I mean, there's some themes that are going through all these groups. So let's start here. With the Knight of Cups, um, many of you might have a romantic suitor coming in with some sort of offer of love. But for others of you, this might just have to do with like a creative project or like leading with your heart to something. But I feel like there's definitely leading with your heart and passion and determination to achieve whatever this is. So if someone is coming in towards you, um, they might be just like really planning out their approach, trying to figure out how to do it, and then they're going to get it done. You know, they are determined to make this work. But for others of you, it might just be that you are determined to, you know, bring about a goal of yours. Um, so I think many of you are just like moving forward quickly and determinedly. And then with the hanged man, that energy has to do with surrendering and taking a step back, taking a break, taking a time out to just really contemplate and like change your perspective on things. So maybe some of you are really stressing about the timing of something that you're wanting things to happen sooner than is feasible or than is really like the natural pace for things to move. So I think you just need to take a step back, take a breather and just let things happen at their own pace. Um, that's just interesting because every group has had kind of an energy of possible like romantic relationships coming in, you know, other people involved, but then also the need to really take care of yourself, take a break, you know, just take a time out for a little bit. So I'm going to look at your oracle cards. You have the Royal You, number 16. So this card to me just has to do with confidence and really valuing yourself to the point that you won't accept anything less than what you feel you deserve. So I just feel like you're really working on your self-worth and you're really, I think, probably feeling confident this month that you really don't want to wait around for somebody who's been kind of, you know, stringing you along or anything that you're really only going to accept what you deserve and nothing less. You have story keeper, tell your story, legacy, write your wisdom. And that's number four. So many of you might have like a writing project that you're wanting to work on. Um, I feel like many of you might be big readers, big writers, you're really trying to kind of get something in that industry going. But for others, I think you just have to recognize what wisdom you've accumulated over, you know, over the course of your life. And I think it's important for many of you to tell your story to others, too, because I think you might be like with this hanged man as well. You might be wondering why you had to go through certain things and now taking a step back, taking a time out is allowing your perspective to change and you're realizing how much you can help other people with whatever it is you've gone through. So I think that might be something that's coming up for many of you. Um, but I think others are just, you're rewriting your story. You're wanting to move forward in a way that you want to go. You're not waiting around for somebody else to take the reins anymore, that you just want to move forward for you at this point and you're ready to really take control of your life, take control of your narrative. 
you have escapist come home to yourself number 32 so yeah there's definitely an energy of like reading books um, writing here because we've got books on both of these cards here so I feel like many of you might be big readers um, maybe that's something that you can take a time out to do is make sure that you're making time to read um, even if it's like self-help books like motivational books just things that make you feel a lot more confident in yourself and like ready to take on the world again I think whatever you can do to kind of motivate yourself to move forward might help and then you have dragons slay them all number six so I, yeah this definitely is very king of wands energy you know knowing what you have to do wanting to get it done trying to figure out how you're going to do it and just going in and and doing it you know you're ready to achieve it you're ready to take on the world and and come out victorious so yeah I feel like you're definitely ready to take control of your own life you don't want to kind of wait for somebody else to save you at all or like wait for someone else to tell you what to do or anything you're taking control of it you're mowing down your obstacles I feel like anything that's been holding you back you're ready to go at them um, and just take them down you have passion so yeah those two cards are definitely very very passionate energy so I think you're you're ready to charge forward and I think if this is somebody else coming in that's ready to like charge forward towards you they're coming in passionately they have the hots for you like crazy it's they're just so into you um, and you know whatever this is like if this is somebody towards you you towards somebody else you towards another goal there's just so much passion here um, it's just you know what you want and you are going after it it's that kind of energy that's just no stopping me that kind of thing you have listening number 53 so that might be part of the um, the hangman taking time out to change your perspective and really get a new view over things um, you might have to listen to somebody else's perspective or they might be like wanting to listen to you but I feel like it's important to hear other people out right now um, and just making sure that you're not doing anything rashly because that's the downside of having all of this passionate energy here is that a lot of the time you can get too passionate and too aggressive and it gets translated into something you know harsh rather than being open to other people's perspectives you know if you get too tunnel vision about your goals you can just mow people down in the process who maybe didn't deserve it they were just kind of caught in the crossfire if that makes sense and then you have moonlight number 51 so one thing you might be listening to for a different perspective is just your own intuition because the moonlight has to do with intuition and just kind of diving deep into like what's going on in your like dream world just you know getting to know your emotions and your psyche really well um, maybe exploring your darker side like your shadow side a bit like if you feel like there are things in your life you're not proud of or traits that you're not proud of this is just telling you to like listen to yourself on what you need and and why you did those things you know be understanding towards yourself and just be open to changing your perspective on it your self-care messages you have clear your energy field number 10 so many of you might want to do um, like sage yourself or like do some sound healing or something like that to really clear your energy. You might also want to just visualize all the energy like coming off of you or like take a shower and just imagine all the negative energy like kind of running off of you. So many of you might be empaths where you feel like you take on other people's energies or like energies of the places you've been and things like that. And it's just your emotions can be kind of badly affected by other people's emotions and experiences so just make sure that you're connecting with your own perspective and making sure that your emotions are your own and that you're not taking on other people's burdens so that's going to be an important thing to do this month and then also it says spend time with friends number 49 so I think just make sure that you're not isolating yourself I feel like this group might be made up of um, like a lot of introverts and if you're not an introvert you might be kind of an ambivert where you like being with people but you really do need a lot of alone time to just escape you know come home to yourself make sure that you're you know spending time just doing what you love um, but I think this is saying don't isolate yourself you know connect with people talk to them if you feel like that would help you know run your ideas by them but I think you know just connecting with people and making sure that you're open to hearing their side of things as well you know not just kind of mowing people down with your own perspective just because you're passionate about it um so yeah many of you might be wanting to go to friends for support um you might just 
you might be in a place right now where you can't actually physically go and see your friends so you just want to like text them or you know get on a video call like a conference call with a bunch of people or like have a game night or something like that but just to kind of lighten your load I think that that might help many of you you have um, for your ice cream oracle salted caramel performances costumes mischief so for this, there might be some kind of illusion energy going around right now. Like you might be, like things might not be exactly what they seem. So that might be why you really need to listen carefully to figure out what's actually going on. Because you might be trying to jump to conclusions just because you don't have the whole story with that moonlight that might be kind of keeping some things in the dark. So just make sure there might be some new perspectives that you hadn't considered before. And I think that's why it's important to connect with other people as well, is to make sure you're not jumping to conclusions based on an illusion. Um, but also this is just making me think of fun, you know, just make sure that you're having fun. Cause I think that's with the spend time with friends, you really just need that energy of play. And I think the energy of play can also fuel your passion to move forward into whatever your goals are, whether that's that relationship or career goal or whatever it is. And then finally you have cherry blossom return quietly now and be at peace. So I do think that that's important as well. Like there's this big balance between really driving yourself forward, going after what you want, and then making sure you take a step back and be at peace um, and aren't just constantly going to the point that you either burn out or mow down other people, but just make sure that you're taking time for yourself, you know, um, you know, do some things to escape, watch Netflix, read a book, do something that's just going to kind of feel good to your like in your soul if that makes sense just make sure that you're taking that time to recharge um even if you're like especially if you're really driving forward I think it's just important to kind of be at peace allow other perspectives to come in and not just constantly be pushing if the time is to just step back so make sure that you try to strike that balance this month so group three I'm going to get your charms now so we are using the heart today to figure out what's in the heart of the situation so group three, what sweet surprises are coming your way this February? Okay. So in the heart, you have the seashell. So the seashell to me, it can sometimes be high priestess energy, which is just connecting with your intuition, like that moonlight card said. Um, but just connecting with your emotions as well. It's very watery energy. It can often be very closed off to the world. So like, I think that's why it's just saying, make sure you're connecting with friends, writing your wisdom, you know, tell your story to people. Don't just keep it in. I think it's important to share what you've gone through with people. Other people can learn from you. I think you can learn from others and get new perspectives on the situation. But I feel like this month is going to be really important for some exchanges of information in some way. And I think it's more it's not so much just like factual information, but just, you know, your emotions and, you know, bonding, I think, is going to be significant this month. So you do have learn here. So that makes me think just what I was saying, learning about each other, learning about other people, um, making sure that you're taking time for both of you to have your say and to be listened to. And then, you know, you can swap and just make sure that you're both feeling heard. You have believe and you have wish. So I think you're believing in yourself um, quite a lot this month. And I feel like you're wishing for something and you're going after it. You're ready for it to happen. But you just need to make sure that you're taking that time out as well. And you're not pushing so hard that you kind of strangle that energy into not occurring or slowing down just because you want it so badly. So just make sure you're taking that time out too. Um, you have G and Z for the letters here. So um, I feel like many of you, this just has to do with like groups, um, that G is kind of standing out. So I feel like, I mean, these could just be significant initials for some of you that stand out, like G and Z are like a couple or something like that. But I feel like G is really standing out, like just groups of people. Like you might be having little bit of a conflict with somebody not like a horrible conflict but you're just really wanting to speak from your heart and like go after what you want but just make sure that you're allowing space for those other people to have their say as well I think it's going to be maybe difficult this month to kind of strike that balance between you know saying what you want and then allowing other people to do the same you know it's hard sometimes to be both the communicator and the listener if that makes sense you have Gemini energy here so one or 
both of you or, you know, if there are other people in the situation might be a Gemini, that's also the kind of twin energy. So it might be, you might be of two worlds, you know, it makes me think of like that introvert and extrovert. So again, you might be an ambivert making time for both being around people and being alone. Um, I feel like some of you might actually be twins out there, especially if these initials are resonating. I don't know why that's just kind of coming through as well. Um, but yeah, I just feel like making sure that you are kind of balancing those two sides of yourself as well. And Geminis are very, very social. So make sure that you take that time to be social, even if it's from afar. You know, if you can't be with people, just don't isolate yourself from the world. You have the heart key here. So I feel like the key to your heart is significant. So maybe you've met somebody who really does have the key to your heart or they want to like show you that they know you well and they really want to get in there, that kind of thing. Um, I feel like they, they feel like you're very unique and so they want to show you that they know you. That's really what's coming through because the rainbow fish has to do with uniqueness and kind of not being afraid to show what makes you different and what sets you apart from the crowd. This, the manta ray here has to do with just going with the flow, you know, being flexible, making sure that you're not pushing too hard. You know, sometimes you just have to kind of ride with the current. The butterfly has to do with transformation. So many of you have probably gone through a big transformation recently where you feel a lot more in balance, but, you know, just don't kind of feel like now you know everything and you have to just blaze forward because I feel like some of you might have that tendency where you want to be heard and so you'll do anything for that because we do have the rooster here crowing so I feel like some of you really just want to say something and you're like shouting at people to like get them to hear what you have to say so just sometimes it's time to take a step back you know it's important to be heard but it's make sure that you're making that time and leaving that space for other people to feel heard as well you have peace here. So I think, yeah, just keeping the peace might be significant this month. I feel like some of you might want to keep the peace, but you might not be as conscious of what you're doing and how you're acting towards people. So it's harder for you to do so. This flower is opening up. So that has to do with just opening up to somebody, you know, having that bonding where you just kind of bare your soul to them. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of heart to heart conversations here. We've got world here. So some of you might be connecting with people from other parts of the world. Um, you might be completing a cycle right now that feels like you're moving into kind of a new phase of your life. Um, and also some of you might be kind of making like travel plans with people. Um, I feel like some of you really want to go somewhere. I, I don't know why, but seeing world and then the Z, I'm just thinking New Zealand might be some somewhere that many of you want to go, that that's kind of, you're talking with a friend or, or like a loved one or something about plans to go to New Zealand once things calm down and once you're able to travel again. You have number six and number 27, so those could be significant dates this month, so just kind of keep an eye on those two dates. You have the book, so yeah, that has to do with that story keeper card, you know, making sure that you're writing things down, leaving your legacy, and also that escapism as well, just making sure that you're taking your time for yourself and focusing on your hobbies. Um, you've been doing a lot of healing, and I think it, significant to that situation of healing is cutting out what doesn't work for you or like cutting out toxic behaviors, you know, putting an end to toxic cycles, making sure that you're not just repeating the same mistakes over and over and over, that you're opening up to a new way of thinking and moving forward in a way that you would not have done before. And then we do have Totoro as well. So I feel like some of you, I'm not sure like if this is you or another person, but some of you might be feeling a bit tentative to come forward because that's just um, this particular pose always makes me think of just being tentative. Like you're wanting to speak up, but you're like waiting for somebody to finish talking before you speak up. So and that's kind of over here by the rooster. So I'm feeling like one person in the situation is like always talking, always trying to get their point across. And they need to take a step back and allow someone who's a little quieter, a little bit shyer and um, more tentative to come forward to really say their piece. So, yeah, I think just that relationship harmony is important. And in your case, just that stepping back has to be to make sure that you're not always being heard. But then again, like making sure that you are heard if you're that one who steps back. So just that balance of, you know, pushing forward and getting your point across and stepping back and listening, I think is going to be really significant this month. But I think if you listen to that advice, you're going to have pretty harmonious relationships going on for February. So group three, I hope that this resonates. I would love to hear if it does. So please leave me a comment below. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you have an awesome February and a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.